Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the last couple of videos, we have been designing this contact us page and uh, we have completed the design and we also have the animation for the placeholder and even for the buttons, we have the hover effects. So this is our uh, contact us page and it is also responsive. So this is the mobile version of our contact page. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your blogger website. So we'll basically create a page in our blogger website and we'll add this design to our page and it'll be a working contact form. So whenever someone types in these details and clicks on send, you will get an email regarding all the details. So this is our task for this video. So let's get started. I already have a video on how to add a contact form to your blogger website and it was using a service called 123 form builder so you can use that also to create a contact form for your blogger website it has a lot of features and with that you can even add more input fields and different types of input fields and you can do a lot of customizations on 123 form builder but it is basically an external service it is not a native blogger form so you have to create the contact form in 123 form builder and uh, then you'll get a code which you have to copy and paste in your blogger page and all the data will be managed by 123 form builder. So that's one thing you can do. But if you don't want to have a third party service for your contact form and you want to use your own blogger native contact form, then you can watch this video. I'll just show you how to convert this design to your native blogger contact form widget. So let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website and uh, let's click on view blog. And this is how our blog looks right now. Now in blogger, you already have a widget called contact form and you can use that for the contact form in our website. But the problem is that you cannot directly add a widget to a post or a page in your blogger website. So in this video, I'll show you how to bring the same contact form to one of your blogger pages. So first of all, let's go to layout and we'll add the contact form widget. So just click on this add a gadget button and uh, just scroll down and search for contact form. So it is right here. So just click on the plus icon and uh, just leave everything as it is and click on save. Now we have added our contact form widget to the sidebar at the top. So let's go ahead and uh, see how it looks right now. Let's refresh our page and let's click on this menu button and here we can see we have the contact form. So this is the contact form widget. Now we are going to take this same widget and add it to a blogger page and we can also remove this contact form from here later. So first of all, let's go back to pages and we'll create a new page and here we will just type contact us. And now here we have to add the code for the contact us design. So first of all, you have to make sure that you are in the HTML view. By default, it will be in the compose view. This is how the compose view looks, but you have to change it to HTML view because we are going to add HTML code right here. Now to get the code of the contact form widget, you have to go to the website and right click over here and click on view page source. And here you have to search for the contact form widget. So you can just uh, press control F and search for contact. And uh, here we can see that we have this uh, division with a class of contact form. So you have to copy this division from here. So let's copy everything from here till maybe here. So copy everything from here and paste it in our page. Now let's see whether we have copied everything correctly. So we have one division starting over here and then we have the second division, the third division. Let's see whether all the divisions are being ended correctly. So here we have the fourth division and it is closed over here. So we have three more divisions to be closed. This is the third one. This is the second one and we need one more closing division tag. So we will add that over here. All right, now let's go to options and I will just click on do not allow comments and then click on publish and confirm. All right, our contact us page has been created. Let's click on view. And we can see that the contact page is being displayed and we have this contact form, the name, email and the message and we have this button. And right now if we add any details over here and uh, click on send, the details will be sent to the email ID which is connected with the blogger account. So you can just go ahead and test it out. 
Now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the structure of this contact form and we want to make it like the design that we have over here. But before that let's go ahead and hide the other contact form that we have on the top sidebar. So here we have the contact form. Now to remove that let's go ahead and right click over here and click on inspect and let's see what is the class. So the class is called contact form. So let's go to theme and let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and let's go to the end of our CSS code. So this is where the CSS code ends. Let's add a comment custom contact page and here we'll type contact form and uh, we'll just set it to display none and uh, let's save it and uh, let's go back to our website and uh, refresh our page and uh, let's click on this menu button and now we can see that the contact form is not being displayed over here but if we go to our uh, page and uh, let's refresh our page we can see the contact form has been removed from here as well so we have to display this one but we don't have to display the other contact form so right click over here and click on inspect and even here we have the same contact form because we copied the same exact html now to make this visible let's go to the top and let's see what is the body class so the body class is called item view so now we'll tell the css that if we have the body class item view then the contact form should be visible so let's go over here to the css and uh, here we will type body dot item view dot contact form and the display was originally set to flex in our uh, design so i'll just set it to flex and uh, let's save it and let's refresh our page and we can see that the contact form is being displayed over here All right now the next task is to customize this contact form structure and we have to make it like this so that the css will be applied correctly so let's go back to the page we'll click on pages and contact us All right so here's the contact form widget code now let's go to our uh, HTML and here we can see we first of all have this division with the class of contact container and in that we have the contact left division and in that we have an h2 so let me first of all uh, click on this button called format HTML so that it will be easier for us to write the code so here we have a division with the class of widget and contact form let's add one more class that is contact container so let me copy this from here and we'll paste it over here so we have added one more class to this division contact container and in that we have another division with the class of contact left so let me just copy this and paste it over here now the whole contact form will be inside this contact left division so let me just go to the bottom and i'll just add one more closing division and let me just click on format html all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the s3 to an h2 because we have an h2 over here and we also have to add this class contact left heading so let me just copy this from here and uh, here I'll just change this to h2 and uh, for the class I'll add one more class called contact left heading and uh, this text is called contact us here so I'll just copy this from here alright that's it with the heading all right now the next thing is that we have this uh, division with the class of contact form widget and then we have this division with the class of contact form i'll just remove this division and uh, i'll also remove one more ending tag from here and format html so we have this division with the class of contact form widget and in that we have the form and in the form we have divisions with the class of form element and in that we have the input and the label so here in the form let's create a division with the class of form element and i'll just close it over here and i'll just remove this paragraph and uh, the name from here and i'll just cut this input from here and paste it over here and we also need to add a label so i'll type label for and in the label we have full name so i'll type full name over here and close the label now for the for we have to add the ID of the input 
so the id is this one right here so let me just copy this and paste it over here so that's it with the first input field let's click on format html now let's add the second input field so i'll just cut all this uh, text and uh, span and all this from here we just want the input so here we'll type div with the class of form element and close the division right here and just cut this input field from here and paste it over here and we also will add the label so I'll just copy this label from here and paste it over here and the ID is called form email so change this to form email and uh, here we will type email alright now the last form element so I'll just copy this from here and paste it over here and uh, delete this input and just delete all this paragraph message and uh, all this from here we just want the text area so I'll just copy this and paste it over here and the ID is contact form email message so you will type email message over here and uh, in this here we will type your message and we also need to add a class for all of these inputs so for all the inputs we have this class called form input so let's go over here and for each of the inputs we'll add this class so here for the first input we'll type form input and I'll just copy this and paste it over here in the second input and also in the text area all right now let's go back to the HTML and uh, after all the form input fields we have the submit button here we can see next we have the submit button let's remove this paragraph from here and after the submit button we have one more paragraph let's remove this and after that we have this division and in that we have two paragraphs for the error message and the success message I'll just leave them as it is because we want to know whether the message has been sent or not alright so this division is ending over here and then we have the form ending over here and uh, here we can see before the form we have this contact form widget division and also this division called contact left so let me just fold this contact left division and uh, after this one we will add the contact right division so the contact right division will be as it is let's just copy this and paste it over here and click on format HTML Alright, so all the HTML has been copied successfully now let's click on update and let's go to the contact us page and we'll refresh the page and we can see we have the contact form over here and also the contact right division now it may be possible that you won't be able to see these icons over here because these icons are from font awesome so if you don't see these icons then you have to go back to the theme code and go to edit HTML and here in the head section you have to copy and paste the link of the font awesome so if you go back to the HTML here we can see this is the link of the font awesome and you also have to copy the link of the Roboto font if you don't have the Roboto font in your theme so right now in our theme we already have the Roboto font so I have this uh, Chrome extension called what font and if I hover over this we can see that we have this Roboto font already so we don't need to add the link of the Roboto font but if you don't have this font in your theme then you have to copy the link of this Google font from here and also copy the link of the font awesome from here now I have already added the link of font awesome right here because we had added it in one of our previous videos so if you don't have these you have to copy these two links to your theme code Alright, after doing that, let's copy and paste the CSS. So let's go to style.css and uh, I'll just copy everything from here to the last line. And uh, let's go to the end of the CSS. And uh, let's copy the CSS right here. And let's click on save. Now let's go back to the contact us page and refresh our page. And we can see that the design is uh, applied over here in our contact page we have a couple of problems over here the button is not being styled and i also feel like the label has shifted down a little bit so right click over here and inspect and uh, for the label 
let's change the transform a little bit so I think a transform translate of 11 would be the correct value so let's close this and let's go back to the CSS and go to the label and here we will just change this to 11 and the button is not being styled because we haven't added this class which is right here called form button to our uh, contact page so let's go back to the contact page I'll just save this and uh, go back and click on pages contact us and we'll just add the class right here so here we'll type form btn and then click on update now let's refresh our page now we can see that the submit button is working all right now the last thing we need to do is add the javascript so that we can have the animation for the placeholders so let's go back to the theme code and let's go to the end of our theme code and here we'll just add one more script tag and in this we will add the javascript so go to main.js file and copy this and paste it over here let's click on save and let's refresh our page now let's see whether the animation is working so let's click on one of the input fields and we can see that the animation is working all right we also have some small issue with the css i think we have a lot of padding so let's right click and click on inspect and let's try to reduce the padding so I think if you set it to 0 it will be alright so padding of 0 and 8 pixels so let's go back and uh, go to the CSS and here we'll change this to padding 0 and 8 pixels and just save it and let's refresh our page and now we can see that everything is working alright now let's click on send and we can see that we have this uh, message called a valid email address is required so now if you add some details over here and send the email now let's send this message and we can see that it says your message has been sent and we have this problem with the styling once the message is sent so for that we'll go ahead and we'll just change the form button to the input type so this is the input type of button so I'll just type input of type button and just copy this and paste it over here and let's save it and let's refresh our page let's click on send and the message has been sent and you can find it in your email ID so that's basically how you create a custom contact page for your blogger website and let me also show you the mobile version so this is how the mobile version looks and everything is looking just as intended so that's basically it for this video in this series we have designed this contact page from scratch using html css and javascript and then we added this to our blogger website i'll leave the link of the source code of our uh, design in the description below so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day